back to the channel so here we are discussing the question target practice on code forces round 898 dip 4 so the problem states that a 10 cross 10 target is made out of 5 rings each ring has a different point value the outmost ring is of 1 point next ring 2 points and the center ring is of 5 points so now Vlad fired several arrows at the target help him to determine how many points he got and we are given with the test case T and each character is either X which is representing an arrow and a dot represents that there is no arrow so we need to calculate the total number of points of the arrow so in first case we have the x point at 0 comma 0 then we have it here which would be so i have written this indices and after writing this indices i have also pasted here what are the rows so that it is clearly mentioned that how i am indicing it so you can see the rows here and the indices so now what we need to calculate we need to calculate the total number of points of the arrows so you can see that in this suppose uh, you have 0 comma 0 so you can get the distance of the arrow from that ring so basically if i am having a ring and I get its distance from the center then I can tell it is which ring so let's suppose I have 0 so if I have 0 distance then which is the ring ring is the one with points 1 and if I came that distance is 1 then the points will be 2 and so on till the points which are given so how we will calculate these points which means how we will calculate this distance to calculate this distance what you will use you can see 0 comma 0 is at distance 0 2 comma 7 would be at distance of 2 3 comma 6 at a distance of 3 4 comma 7 at a distance of 3 6 comma 9 at a distance of 0 7 comma 2 at a distance of 2 and 9 comma 9 at a distance of 0 so how i am calculating this uh, distances is very easy if i found let's remove this first yeah so if i found that let my list be l this whole array so if l of ij this is equal to the x then the ring number which we were calculating which was 0 1 2 and so on would be simply the minimum value of i comma j comma 9 minus i comma 9 minus j so you can also check the values which i wrote for this only and then after getting those values what you will do is you can simply get the points and add it and then you can return the answer so my answer was coming 0 2 3 
3 and then 0 2 0 so this was my answer so for this I will be adding 1 for this I will be adding here 3 so it will be 4 here I will be adding 4 here also 4 so it is 4 and here I will be adding 3 and for both these zeros 1 1 so I am just adding plus 2 here so my answer comes out to be 17 which is the answer given below and you can clarify with that and simply you can add a base case that if none of them is x simply return what you will return 0 because no points are obtained so i hope you all understand this solution thanks for watching